This is the Benny Bar Pilates Studio. Today, we're gonna to be taking a closer look at the single leg stretch. The single leg stretch is an exercise that focuses first and foremost on the abdominals, but also on the hips and leg muscles. It's the first exercise in the Pilates Mat Core Series of Five. Begin this exercise in a supine position, lying on the back. Throughout this exercise, you want to maintain a neutral pelvis and neutral spine, and you want to keep the pelvis as still and stable as possible. Inhale to prepare, and on the exhale, float the legs up into a tabletop position, one leg at a time. Inhaling to repair, and on the exhale, peel your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat, upper body balancing on the tips of your shoulder blades. Stretch one leg out and away while drawing the other knee in towards the body, all the while maintaining a stable pelvis. You can take this exercise nice and slow, exhaling as you extend, inhale, return that leg. Switch legs, exhale, extend, and inhale, return. This exercise is typically performed with a faster pace though, exhaling for one set, and inhaling for the second set. If you're a beginner and this faster pace is challenging for you to maintain that, that stable neutral pelvis, then slow the pace down and focus on moving one leg at a time while stabilizing the rest of your body. This exercise is typically performed for five sets, alternating the legs. So right side, left side is one set. Next, I'm gonna go into a couple of things to avoid in this exercise, and then follow up with a couple of variations and modifications if you're finding this exercise challenging for you and your body. So first, starting out, a few things to avoid. First one is pulling the knee out to the side. We wanna keep the knee in line with the hips here. Placing the outside hand to the outside of either your shin or ankle and the inside hand on the knee will help you to mentally and physically focus on keeping that knee in line with the hip. It isn't incorrect to place both hands on the knee, but if this leads you to pulling your knee off to the side, then don't use that hand position. The second thing that I want to talk about today is keeping the gaze up to the ceiling rather than pulling up and looking forward. So if you're having your gaze up towards the ceiling and straining the neck or holding lots of tension there, um, then this is not a positive thing for you. You want to keep the chin tucked forward here and keep your gaze out towards your toes. So if you catch yourself looking up to the ceiling, then you are putting strain in your neck here and we want all the work to be coming from your abdominals, not from your neck. The next item is keeping the extended leg very bent. We really wanna reach through that pointed toe and focus on stretching the leg straight and away. So if you find yourself not doing that, you're cheating yourself out of that big stretch that you could be getting here. This is after all the single leg stretch. Focus on pointing that toe and stretching it away. Another thing that we wanna avoid is, as I've talked about before, shifting the hips or tilting the pelvis and coming out of neutral. We wanna maintain control and focus over your body here. The only things that should be moving are your legs and your hands when you're changing placement. You don't want your shoulders shifting back and forth, your hips shifting, or your pelvis tilting back and forth. This can be a dead giveaway if you start to get air behind your back and you're stretching and your ribs are extending through. We want that to all stay in a nice neutral position and concentrate on the limited motion that we're doing here. I have a couple of variations and modifications for you with this exercise today. If you have weaker abdominals or low back muscles, consider taking the legs up higher. So rather than coming out to a 45 degree angle, think somewhere between 90 degrees and 45. The next modification, if you have knee pain, have had a knee replacement, etc., and you can't flex that knee in fully towards your body, don't draw the knee in so far into your chest, and you can even grasp underneath the knee if needed. If you're struggling with this ex exercise as well as other abdominal exercises with strain and discomfort in the neck, don't give up on this exercise altogether, simply modify. 
As your abdominals get stronger, then keeping the neck lifted will become easier. But you can complete these exer this exercise with the head, neck, and shoulders down on your mat. You can either lay it flat on the mat or support the head with a block or pillow. You can keep the head up for as long as you can tolerate and then rest as needed during this exercise, perhaps one set with the head being lifted and one set with it being down, or you can keep your head rested down the entire time. If you are planning to have the head down for the duration of the exercise, do take the legs up higher in the air to decrease the load on the lumbar spine. Thanks for joining me today in my studio. Be sure to check in for Matt Pilates exercises, bar workouts, uh, springboard Pilates, and much more. I also have Pilates tutorials and more breakdowns of Matt Pilates exercises for you here on the channel. I'll see you guys next time.